Hello everybody and welcome to another video. We're doing something a little bit different here. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me basically what I'm even doing in Guild Wars 2. Uh, and while I have been keeping up with the living story content, mostly, I've got to be honest, since Christmas, uh, I've been sort of neglecting the PvE side of the game. It's not been capturing me so much. Instead, I've been playing a lot of PvP. Uh, now wait, before you, you click off the video, because I know a lot of my audience are PvE people. Uh, PvP is really fun in Guild Wars 2. I really want you guys to see that side of the game, basically. And I've been a little bit cautious about doing videos on PvP stuff for a while, because I think there are other people out there who are already doing that kind of content quite well. But I think there's a very large audience of PvE players who simply aren't even considering PvP as an option right now when they would probably have a lot of fun doing it. It's really not that complicated and honestly it's been a lot more fun in Guild Wars 2 PvPing for me recently than anything PvE's had to offer me. I think that particularly comes from me as a player that's already done most of the PvE stuff. It's just living story things now. And there's a lot of us in that position. There, there were a lot of us in that position months and months ago now. The problem with Guild Wars 2's PvP, trust me, isn't that it's not fun. It's just that it's got a really steep learning curve. Uh, and there's really few resources I find on the internet out there to ease PvE players into it. Um, and it sort of looks very cold and scary and elitist from the outside. But it's not any of those things, really. Uh, and it could be quite simple to get into, which is what I'm attempting to do. This is a sort of a dummy's guide, if you will. Um, and I'm going to be doing it with Matt Visual, who is exactly in the same position I was at Christmas. He's done a lot of the PvE stuff and now he's interested in playing PvP, but there's a lot to learn. Now, I do warn you guys, I'm starting this off really basic. This video, I think most players will know what I'm covering. I'm literally just saying what PvP is, how Conquest works, and how to get there in this video. It will ramp up, though, um, over the course of about 10 in this series that I'm hoping to sort of transition people from very, very newbie PvP players that need to know the most basic of stuff, which you're going to see here, into a lot more complicated things things in later videos so I hope that sounds like a good idea to you guys sorry if this one in particular doesn't offer you that much but it should be fun and I'm really looking forward to it so uh, yeah enjoy guys and hopefully this will be a, a fun experience let's do it all right let's do it okay that's that that works pretty well hello again everybody uh, there was a small cut I would have put my little intro there uh, I'm here with Matt visual say hi Matt yes I am here and I guess I'm here, you're here, wait, I'm here yeah, with you. Yeah, you're, you're here with me yeah. as well, exactly. <laughs> okay, there we go. this is going to be weird watching it from your perspective. So yeah, we're going to we're gonna do our little dummies guide here. Um, I, the, the goal here is we're going to try and get Matt from not knowing very much about PvP to knowing a lot. The first episode, basically we're just going to cover how PvP functions in Guild Wars 2. Um, and we're going to go like super basic here. So I'm assuming you already know how to get there, Matt. <laughs> No, I, I don't. I've never been inside of uh, the mist at all, man. Oh, how do you know it's the mist then? Uh, uh, um, <laughs> uh, I just heard go. it. I heard it on TV or something. <laughs> on TV, right. yeah. On the, like the crazy Guild Wars 2 trailer. Trailer, yeah. That, that was a great trailer. Great trailer. <laughs> That's the worst trailer I've ever seen. Anyway, so the way you get into PvP is uh, in a place called the Heart of the Mist, which you can gain access to in two ways. Uh, the main one that most people will use is actually up at the top here on the top left hand side. Uh, you'll see there's actually a PvP icon next to the world versus world icon. By default it's not bound to any key but you can go into the options and change that if you like. And um, by hitting that you'll open up your PvP statistics and there is a button here on the top left that says go to the heart of the mists. You can do that to get to PvP from anywhere in PvE at all. But if you want to like, I don't know... RP for some reason. Um, you can also walk through the Asura Gate in Lion's Arch uh, near Fort Mariner, which is down here near where the Karka attacked and so forth. You've got the three, well, the four world versus world gates, which I'm sure you've used many times, right? And of course. then you've yeah, and then you've got the fifth Heart of the Mist gate. Uh, and no matter which of these you choose, you'll end up at the same place, uh, which is here in the Heart of the Mist. I never use this for some reason. Really? I never use it. I always use the PvP tab, yeah. I didn't even know this existed until you just told me right now. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, so yeah, you've got to get... Well, the thing is, you can also use this as well. If you want to just waypoint for free to Lion's Arch, you can always go to the PvP lobby and then walk back through the Asura Gate, and then you don't have to... Like, halves your waypoint costs, essentially, because you can go from Lion's Arch into... Oh yeah, that I do constantly yeah. especially when the pv i i, I what weren't they uh the waypoints a lot more expensive before i think so i don't know but, yeah, and this is why i used to use to get back to lines but yeah anyway 
Yeah, so uh, once you get here, you should notice that your gears changed completely. Uh, yeah. With Guild Wars 2, what they try and do, which is very commendable and really is the only thing that's given this game a fighting chance, in my opinion, for PvP, is they've completely separated the PvE experience and the PvP experience. Uh, there is no leveling up in PvP. There's no working for your gear. They just give you flat stats, and that's what you have to work with. And we'll go into that uh, more in uh, the next episode. But basically, your gear's going to change, and you also notice down at the bottom where you originally had an experience bar you'll now have a different bar and it will probably say for you what rank are you at the moment if you you've never I pvp am, genuinely never well, well i i'm level six right now okay I'm level six okay. this is the glory right yes so you are rank six so your level turns into rank here you can see i'm rank 44 i'm really close to rank 45 it kind of works in the exact Dang. same way what is the highest? Uh, the highest is rank 80, uh, and every 10 ranks you go up, you become a different animal. But we'll, we'll look at that again like, in a future uh, Whoa! You do get cool stuff from playing PvP. I'll say that straight away. Before anybody starts thinking, oh, it's not for me already, you can get cool emotes from PvPing, and you can get like free, uh, like 20 slot bags and stuff. So it is. Oh, that's what you mean. Straight, that, that's from Guild Wars 1 as well. Yeah, you could slash rank in the first game too, Yeah, which is pretty cool. Let me see what my slash rank is. You should be a rabbit. There you go. It's a rabbit. Oh, oh yeah. The rabbit's not even cute. <laughs> wow. Okay. Insulting. <laughs> <All> right, <go. laughs> okay. So um, basically, once you come to this lobby, we're not actually PvPing. Obviously, this isn't open world. I can't just like start attacking Matt here. Uh, it's arena based in this game, and it all revolves around one particular game type. There is no death match, which is what a lot of people have been asking for, and I kind of think it's a mistake. Um, but there is no death match. There's only one game type known as conquest. Now, to actually get into the arenas and play PvP, um, there's two ways you can do it. There's two distinct means of entering pvp one is through proper five versus five tournament or rated matches which we'll get into later or the other one something known as hot join which you can access from this character here the pvp browser you speak to this guy and he'll bring you kind of this very ugly looking menu but this is just a list of different servers it will tell you how many players are in them uh, and it will also show you what map the server is currently on and if you hover over it you'll see you get loads of different information can you see that yeah. Uh, now, there's something else pretty nice you can do if you want to play PvP specifically with your friends. I can choose a server uh, and then not even tell you which server I pick. Okay, so I've just gone into an empty server and you have no idea which one. If you right click me in the party window. 100. Now, no, <laughs> good get. It was pretty close. Uh, you can right click me in the party window now, though. And you'll see it says join friend in PvP. I see yeah, I see you. Yeah. Okay, so once you get into a match, if the servers aren't being weird, then you've got many different options to do it. Once you get in, originally, you get the option to spectate, or you can choose to join either red team or blue team or, or random, as it were. I'm going to go on red if you want to go on blue. All right. Um, so the match will start, and as you guys can see up in the, the top in the middle, you see that mat, it says that basically there's a 15-minute timer. Right. When that runs out, uh, then the game is over. That will rarely ever run out because it will end in other ways, but that is a way of stopping the match. Basically, to win in PvP in Guild Wars 2, the first team to 500 points uh, takes the victory. Now, to get points, you can kill other people. So if I were to kill you, you've, you've ran off somewhere a mile away. But if I were to kill you, I'd get five points for my team. But the, the much easier way to earn points is by capturing uh, capture points that are out on the map. These nodes here, uh, you can take under control of your team by standing inside the rings. Uh, and you'll see up in the top right, just like with dynamic events, it says that you're capturing the point up here. Uh, once that goes all the way to full, then your team's going to start ticking up points. And obviously this means because there are three nodes on every map, if you have two of the nodes and you stop you, the enemy getting two for themselves, then you win, right? Right. Because you're going to have what's called a double cap. You're going to have two nodes while they only have one. You're going to get points quicker than them, and you're going to win. This is the game type in its essence. It's sort of like King of the Hill, but with three hills. Three, yeah, exactly, yeah. That, that's kind of what I always thought of it as when I very first started. Now, one final thing that's quite interesting about Conquest is every single map, there are, there are quite a few PvP maps at the moment, actually, which is quite nice, and ArenaNet do seem to just really enjoy adding more and more, which is good. Uh, but every single PvP map has a different secondary mechanic uh, and those secondary mechanics can change the way that the game's played quite a lot so on this map for example spirit watch uh, the secondary mechanic is this orb of ascension that spawns in the middle of the map now by taking this i get slowed down like mad but if i walk over to a node that i own like bear for example which i capped earlier um, I'll actually get, go, give my team like a massive point boost. Uh, and these secondary mechanics can really change. Did I just drop the orb from blinking? I did. Uh, uh, this yeah, isn't yeah. actually a tawny map, so <laughs> I don't like 
pay much too much attention to the secondary mechanic here. But the secondary mechanics can change the way the flow of the games uh, quite significant. That's basically the way that PvP is played. I know in this video we haven't really played much PvP, but I figure, you know, start right at the beginning. This might not be interesting to a lot of people who already knew this very basic stuff, but I want this to be kind of accommodating to everyone, you know? Um, so, I don't know, <laughs> hopefully you learned a little something here. Have you really played much on Spirit Watch? No, I haven't. I even I didn't know I had a second mechanic like this. This is actually pretty cool. It's really cool, um, yeah. Okay, we'll leave the video for there then. Uh, what do you think so far? Like, obviously this is really basic stuff, and you rank 6, so you know some of it already. But Right. Uh, yeah, I, I played a few games uh, before, and, and I won a few and got on top of you. It, it, seems, it seems overwhelming. Like, the basics is fine, right? Uh, for people who don't know and and but once you start getting into that and getting some of the matches and especially if you're playing alone it seems kind of like you know daunting like oh my gosh you know where, where to yeah, go dude. where to go and yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to actually learning a lot more of the really core mechanics not just you know being able to just join a match and with you know with random people but uh yeah i i definitely i definitely cannot wait to get inside of this i there's a new tournament. There's actually a tournament for esports. Uh, have you heard of it for Saturday? For Sunday? Yeah, actually. Yeah, it's coming up pretty soon, right? All right. So if you guys want to learn more, you guys want to actually know what's going on in a tournament, you know, when people are talking, this is a series that really we want to, wanted to grow into, you know, getting a nice community for PvP and getting people from PvE to actually learn PvP, even just, to, just for information purposes, even though if you don't even want to try pvp really yeah like uh, one thing i will say is for how fun the pvp is once you actually kind of get into the nitty-gritty of it and when you really start playing it a lot it's 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 crazy how small the pvp community is right now for how great it is uh, and i really do attribute a lot of that to the learning curve coming in so hopefully this will help you guys out obviously very basic stuff for this episode but we're gonna have a lot more coming up uh, in the future so keep an eye out uh, and we hope you enjoyed i guess yeah yeah all right. We'll see you next time then. See you next time.